This is Owen Wilson for subject NMBR142 at ACU. The presentation is about the geometry of history and how it appears in the world today, with the main topic being pulleys. Did you know that pulleys may have been used to help build Stonehenge and the pyramids? No? Well, there are theories that they were. They have been used for many years in history and are still in current use today within the world around us. There are areas of science, technology, engineering and mathematics which the application of the pulley system fits into. But what is a pulley? According to the New World Encyclopedia, a pulley is a wheel with a groove along its edge for holding a rope or cable. It is a straightforward machine that assists with changing the direction and point of application of a pulling force. Pulleys are usually used in groups designed to decrease the amount of effort needed to lift a load. The size of the force is decreased, but it must go over a longer distance. On the other hand, the amount of work necessary for the load to reach a particular height is the same amount of work needed without the pulleys. Let's start with the history. Way back in 3000 BC, in Mesopotamia era, according to PRS Murray, in the material record, the pulley is the first evidence in, the, in an enigmatic series of small decorated bronze fittings in the earlier 2nd millennium BC. The people of Mesopotamia were the first to use pulleys by lifting buckets of water out of the streams. It was used as a lever type mechanism where you could push down on one end to lift the bucket up out of the water. Moving on to the Egyptian pyramids of Giza. These were constructed in 2650 BC. James L. Phillips claims that although some of the blocks weighed more than two, two tons, uh, the e Egyptian engineers devised a pulley and sled system to move the blocks from the lift limestone cliffs to the site of the pyramids at Giza and other places along the west bank of the Nile River. This, is, this would have been an incredible sight to see. When the blocks arrived at the pyramid site, Stephen Blakely believes that the Egyptians used another pulley system to pull up the blocks along the side of the pyramid and into place. Using six pulleys connected to one block on the sled, 65 pullers could pull one block up within five minutes, achieving a total of six blocks in half an hour. The mechanism involved a cylindrical limestone placed in a stopping block with the groove cut in the middle for the rope to slide in. When the pyramid got too high, a counterweight was used on the other side to pull the block up. Stephen Blakely's recreation of the machine can be seen here. From 287 to 212 BC, Archimedes was alive. According to the a Greek historian named Plutarch, Archimedes claimed that he could move the world if he had enough pulleys. One of the kings told Archimedes to prove this by pulling his ship full of passengers, so he set up his compound pulley system, attached the ropes to the ship, and it moved smoothly along just as if it had been at sea. We move forward to the Greek monasteries of Meteora, built from the 14th to the 17th century. Meteora is an amazing area that contains enormous dark stone pillars rising out of the ground, which overlook the towns below. Out of the 30 monasteries that were built throughout the centuries, only 6 of them are still standing today. Some of these monasteries took 20 years to build because all they had was a rope and basket pulley system to bring up all the building materials. Let's see how this could look today. Today, there are three main types of pulleys. The first is a fixed pulley that has a fixed or anchored axle that is held in place. A fixed pulley is used to change the force in the rope. If the rope goes in a full circle, it is then called a belt. 
This pulley has an advantage of 1, because the effort is usually equal to the load force. The second is a movable pulley. It has an axle that is able to freely move around. A movable pulley is used to transform forces. The pulley moves along the rope as the wheel supports the load. The effort is in the same direction as the movement is. This pulley has an advantage of 2, because half of the load is supported by the rope attached to the ceiling. The other half is supported by the free end of the rope, where the effort of the force is applied. The type of pulley is a comp the th sorry, the third type of pulley is a compound pulley. It is a combination system of both fixed and movable pulleys, pulleys designed to make the effort less than half the weight of the load. An example of this is the block and tackle pulley system. Old Amsterdam, old Amsterdam buildings are famous for their gable and hook fixed pulleys. They were used in the 16th century to camouflage the houses. Inside the staircases they built were very narrow and the only way for them to get furniture to the top of their houses was for them to use these gable and hook pulleys. These are still being used the same way today. There are lots of other applications where pulleys are used, such as garage doors, clotheslines, flagpoles, blinds, curtains, and escalators. Pulleys, pulleys are also used in sports, such as sailing, rock climbing, and with exercise equipment. They are also used on fan belts with most modes of transportation. As I have talked about earlier, pulleys have been a key part in the history with construction, in the modern world, we are now using cranes, lifts and bulldozers to help get jobs done easier. All of these applications use at least one of the three types of pulleys. Thank you for listening to the, my presentation. Extra information about the maths and science is included in my attached file. This is my image referencing. And this is my bibliography.